What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Sorry guys, I had to get the mug of the week situated. We good? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Weird. There's only, there's only you one. Did, you didn't even ask about the mug of the week thing though, when I just like <laughs> kind of brought it up. I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm sorry I'm late. I had to like get the mug of the week organized. And you were like, we good? Let's see the fucking mug. Well, it's like the first topic again, so I figured we'd get to it right. Like it's literally topic one. See, I don't. I I I didn't mean for it to be topic one. I didn't need for it to be topic one. But like I put it out there, was hoping to maybe receive something back. But since it's topic one, I'll I'll talk about it. Um, I well, think we have Dave, a start. Are we good? What yeah, do you mean? Are we good? We're good. I was just waiting for like the Austin to be like, yeah, you're good to go. I think we're good to go. Okay. I think we're good. Is Bree dark? It let's see Bree talk, zone, but she's fine on the actual show. Okay. Well, let's just start. Brought to you by Raising Canes. Um, a little sad. I'm in Montauk. No more Raising Canes. It used to be across the street from me. Uh, you know there's nothing better than their off-the-charts chicken fingers and differently good cane sauce. Tell you every week, go now. Their chicken fingers cooked, order, served, hot, fresh. Make my mouth water just talking about it. No wonder people crave it all the time. School's out. Days get longer, which means more time to eat canes. They have some locations that are open late, so swing by after the party. Fill up on amazing chicken fingers and cane sauce. Check out RaisingCanes.com for restaurant hours. Come for chicken fingers. Stay for the sauce. Order online at RaisingCanes.com. Satisfy your cane fixed today there's really no other options come for the chicken fingers stay for the sauce order online at raisincanes.com okay josh you've been like freaking out about your mug of the week it's got to be the best one yet right well i, mean, I don't know making if, an awful big deal about it i don't know if i was i was making a big deal about it I were think we I recording was just, that was a big deal yeah we were recording yeah, so, I mean, the people can decide whether you're making a big deal. I think I was just more hoping that my friends were going to make a big deal. Well, I, it I don't get it because me. you we're not really that late. It, we're like two minutes. You were two minutes late. You're like, sorry, the mug. But literally the first thing on the sheet is Josh's mug of the week, which is crazy <laughs> that we're starting with Josh's mug of the week. Stop I think doing that. Too. That is like BFF section whatever but it, it, we're going to talk about first because it's on first on the sheet so what is this mug okay it's a pretty big one look at how gigantic it's like the size of my but let me let me show the picture dogs pooping. a bunch of are they pooping yeah, yeah. wow yeah they're pooping dogs because when you drink coffee you poop i never even thought about that correlation actually that's what i would think. i don't know if that I don't know. But I, I, right. I think it's probably just I think it's just probably dogs pooping. Okay. Underwhelming. That was underwhelming. But <laughs> I thought it was Kim cool, Car Josh. You know who was underwhelming? Who? Boston. Boston was underwhelming. Yeah. That sucked that they lost. I don't know. I mean what what were you doing with Dixie? Why is Dixie so just <laughs> I so can't I was, even I, you need to block just, my number. Just, <laughs> just so people are aware. Games the Celtics heat. <laughs> Uh, I'm a huge Celtics fan. I go basically to all their home games. Um, I got I was super sick. I I don't know why. Maybe food poisoning. Like I could barely move. I was very very. It would take a lot for me to skip Game Seven. Um, but I couldn't get out of bed. Basically, Celtics Man. lose. Bree out of the clouds. <laughs> Bree and O'Malley are like, we need you to be like fired up about the Celtics. I haven't heard either one of them like talk about sports since I've fucking known them. So kind of <laughs> weird to be like, we need you to be like, go, go, go. Uh -huh. Keep in mind, I'm on my door, like desk doorstep. <laughs> then I think in between the process of me just like dragging myself up the stairs to go to bed, I like I had a miss FaceTime. Maybe I'm brushing my teeth. And it was Dixie, like, holding a picture, being like, pick up, it's Dixie. It's like, are you nuts, first of all? <laughs> and then, what, she, she's a Heat fan? Yeah, she ended up being a Heat fan, and she was popping bottles of champagne for the Heat. I don't think she's a Heat fan, though, so she's I don't know why she did that. from Connecticut. I know, that's yeah, why no, I was really, I was lie. very upset with that. And she never has lived in Miami in her life, so what is she talking about? I don't know. It's just a band. She was rooting thing. for the Celtics the whole time. We were watching it, and then when the Heat won, she popped bottles for her. Where were you? We were in Delray, Florida. Oh. Yeah, everyone was rooting for the heat. Yeah. Well, yeah, in Florida, although, yeah, I guess Delray is kind of close to Miami. I mean, they go to Orlando, too. Whatever. It was like, Dixie, I'll tell you what. I was very sick. 
uh, Dixie's lucky I didn't pick up. I would have like lost my mind on her if she was like rubbing in. There's nothing worse than like fake fans like rubbing in shit when they're not even involved. Anyhow, um, yeah, the Celtics stuff. Kim Kardashian says her sex tape is less damaging than Kanye. In this season premiere of the Kardashians, Kim stated that her sex tape would have a lesser impact on her children compared to what Kanye West has said about her, including fabricating rumors, Kim cheating with Drake and engaging in online ongoing public feuds with her. Kim has said that she will always bite her tongue for her children's sake, listens to Kanye's music in the car with her kids and only speaks positively about him to the kids. Kim said when they're old enough and ask, she will sit down and talk to them about it. Do you agree with this take? More damaging. Kanye's antics or, or Kim? Uh, sex tape I agree with Kim I feel like yeah. Kanye's antics I feel like her sex tape has only done good things to her well I don't think most children want to see their parents but, like but they would have fuck. to actively like search it up yeah, kind of weird yeah but you that. think you're going through you think you're going through like elementary school and middle school without kids you may have those kids do it doing like the old prank like hey look at this picture and it's Boom. your like Mom, boom, fucking. naked mom. Yeah, I guess. But oh, your dad like was actively saying he hated Jewish people. Yeah, which I actually found weird. It makes me hate again Kim because Kim's like, unless this isn't the whole quote, but she's like, what she, what Kanye has said about her, including rumors of Kim cheating with Drake. Like that's your example. That's like the least damaging thing of all time. Oh. Right. He said some like pretty outlandish things. Huh. I was just trying to tell me something about it, but I can't hear you. It's from the show, so it's pre-recorded before all of the Kanye shit came out. Got it. The okay. Anti-Semitic I mean, shit. That, that was Devin. Yes. I mean, she can just pipe up if she wants. She didn't have a mic. Got it. Okay. Well, I, I overall, ye. No, I, I just it depends what we're talking about. Because again, if I was a little kid and you told me there was some, my dad made up a rumor because he was mad that my mom had sex with like one of the most famous men on the planet, versus my mom has a porn tape, I think I'd be like, give me the rumor about she had sex with like one of the most famous people on the planet. Like that's not that bad of a rumor. I guess it's really not that bad. But then it's like you, she looks like she's cheating on her husband and like fucking the kids over. But they yeah. weren't even they were. Was that allegation out when they were together or no? And I don't think anybody even believes it at this point. I don't think it was when they're together. These seem like things that you can write off like your dad was mad. I It's the degree of allegation. I would rather yeah. my not think my parent was like a racist, sexist, anti-Semitic, whatever it may be, piece of shit. Like if I thought that, that's more damaging probably than the sex day. But if my dad was just like, well, she had sex with like, uh, you know, Drake, who cares? So yeah. I, get, I guess it's what. Um, the internet thinks Kanye West's wife looks like Pete Davidson. I see it. <laughs> Is it just the haircut, or you really think they look alike? I get the, the, the bottom left two pictures, I see it a little bit. Siblings? Yeah. I mean, who cares, but I see it. This next one was a shocker to me. Josh Allen and Haley Steinfeld spotted on a date. Haley, I was pretty shocked by this, too. Haley Steinfeld, I had on that list. Remember when we talk, like, who do you think is an A-list, A-list, who doesn't date down at all? And, like, as we, I think Zendaya was who we kind of mentioned. Like, I sort of hold Haley Steinfeld in that regard. So, But do you think um, this is a good pairing, then? I love Josh Allen. I think I would have said previously she's out of his league, but he is an awesome NFL quarterback. But his last relationship kind of went up in flames, ended recently. I was surprised. I just never hear her anything about her. You could have told me she was married, and I would have been like, yeah, I believe I know. she's just never in the news with this stuff. Yeah, they were. he had like a long-term relationship, and then six weeks later Very with, long. with Haley Steinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Six weeks. It's been, I think it's been a little bit longer than six weeks since Josh Allen and his girlfriend broke up, right? Didn't they break up during the playoffs? But yeah, like when they were rumors. together, right, right, they were right before they lost. I think is yeah, yeah. It was like that week. Yeah, they've been together. I think since college. Yeah, they were together for like nine years. Yeah, long time, and I think there was some animosity on all that stuff. Regardless, it's a power. Co I just didn't see it coming at all. But 
I wonder how they met. I'd love to know how they met. Hmm. I think Maybe she Raya. slid into the DMs. You already bet. I think Haley. I think she slid into the DMs. So I like, guess or you like know something. I just like heard someone say that. You heard somebody say that? <laughs> I don't know. There's a there's a weird sly grin on Bree's face. She knows something. I think she slid into the DMs is what I heard someone say that. What well, you just don't hear it. Like I I just <laughs> yeah, heard they yeah, were yeah, dating yeah, like yeah, yeah. five seconds and, ago. And it seems like you're like weirdly like on this other girl's side over Haley's side because you're no, like I'm not. they no, were together I'm not. for nine years. There was like a six. There was like six weeks after. I'm not. I'm not on anybody's side. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What do you mean? Do you, you know this girl? You heard who heard I, I from just, where? I just heard from a, a person that knows Is these people. Is the person reliable? Yeah. I need more info. Me, me too. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Who is she associated with out of the two of them? Um, him. Got it. I don't want to. I don't want to get myself in trouble. Well, this show is becoming increasingly stupid. When we <laughs> yeah. have information, and we don't I always give information. Give information. I, I well, I gave the information. information. I'm just not giving. I'm not ratting out you, on who told heard, me. You heard. I. You heard. Yeah, maybe that it was allegedly. She slid into his. Allegedly. Allegedly. I, camp is what it sounds like. So, 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 so Haley Steinfeld. Where can someone do some research? Where is Haley Steinfeld from? I'm looking up. Okay. I feel like she's from Canada. What? That would maybe make a little sense. Oh, she's from LA. That makes no sense. Tarzana. Yeah. Does she? So, no. She slid into his. The I'm. I can't believe she knew who he was. Yeah, fully California. Went to high school there. Everything. Maybe they met in passing or something. And then she like DM'd him a little like Yeah, he's again. a handsome dude. Look at him. All right. Oops. Fine. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Airbnb saves Alex Earl after Alex Earl was stranded in Italy when a booking dot com house that her and her friends rented didn't exist. Airbnb pulled a great PR move by saving them, putting Alex and friends in an Italian mansion. This has to be planned. Alex Earl is going to Italy, booking, or just like a schmo, still booking dot com. Really? I feel like she's gallivanting the globe right now on trip after trip after trip. This, this is running like, like private jets places and stuff. Yeah, I don't think that like she's using planned, booking.com. Planned. Good move, by the way, I guess, either way. Just hmm. I don't believe the chain of events. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about yep. this being all a work. Yeah, people thought it was just completely planned. It's a hundred percent of work. I agree. There's no way. I don't, um, uh, I don't know. Maybe they just booked a shitty place in Italy, and then Airbnb was like, "This is my time to when shine." When is the last time Alex Earl has been spotted doing anything like half ass? But she's with all of her like college friends and everything. Aren't her college friends now pretty big influencers in their own right? Just one. Where's the, yeah. She's still the it girl, so I'm having a very hard time believing yeah. that's how it went down. Um, in fact, I'm 100% positive that's not how it went down. You think it's 100% ad? 100% an ad. Uh, the Little Mermaid drama backlash. Haley's boyfriend isn't thrilled with Prince Eric. I don't know who. Ha ha Hallie. Hallie Bailey? Who's Hallie is that? the new mermaid. Got Ariel. It. Hallie... <laughs> Hallie Bailey, who plays Ariel, is stuck in the middle of beef between her boyfriend, DDG. That's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's his like. We had him on. He's moonwalking in Calabasas. Am I wrong? I no, you're right. Okay. He did Who's once moonwalk in Calabasas. Yeah. Well, he doesn't like her real life Prince Charming and on screen Prince Eric, Jonah Hauer King. Uh, after Jonah said that he went with Haley to her sister, after Jonah, this is. The on-screen Prince Eric. Yes. He's m so mad after Jonah said he went with Hallie to her sister Chloe's concert. Fans said that Jonah was a real man for supporting her woman's sister. DDG did not take kindly to his comments, saying Jonah was not him and they didn't have the willpower to take DDG's girl. What? What? They really think got the willpower to take DDG girl. He's not him. Okay, so this is just beef online, like, they're they're not actually saying it. No, that's his burner account. Oh, that's what shit. he was saying. Or yeah, because look at the DDG tweet below it. Follow my burner, Aubrey Wiggins. I'm logging out till next Thursday. Damn. Five nineteen. DDG is always or maybe some crazy stuff. I yeah, don't even. Yeah. I, I I don't even get it. 
Jonas. I mean, it's kind of like a, it's like a Sydney Sweeney repeat just with these people now. Yeah, like people are shipping them because they're Ariel and Prince Charming in the movie. And then he's doing things like saying, like, I went to a concert to support a sister. And people are like, DDG would never do that. Her actual and DDG's boyfriend. like, DDG, the actual boyfriend's like, you don't even got the willpower to take my girl. Uh, seems like a whole lot of bull crap. DDGG did not, that's uh, not to be confused with David Day Trader Global Global, which I just made a little. Well, his is just DDG. Yeah. I, I've said it so many times, it just goes. Uh, yeah, DDG fair. also pissed off fans who found disrespectful that DDG hadn't even seen the original Little Mermaid before seeing the live action premiere for his girlfriend. That's totally disrespectful. Yeah. And tweeting it? I'd be pissed. Also, <sighs> Hallie seems too sweet for him. That's crazy. You're not going to go. You got to be able to go. So when the new one comes out, you can be like, yours is so much better than the original. Yeah. That's crazy. I feel like it's. Is it that crazy? To not see the original. Yes. Well, like it's I guess it's like that's like saying like, yo, you've never seen like Toy Story, you know, like crazy or like Lion King. And then you go and watch the new Lion King. Like, yeah, but your girlfriend's not the star. There's a small. Yeah. Thank you, Brie. Like, he doesn't even know what the movie's about. But he's still going to go to the movie and support his girl's movie. Yeah, but you got to watch the original. Be like, I, how long does it take to shoot a movie? <laughs> Depends on the movie. It could take years. five years. It could take, right? like, two years. Yeah, it he's could probably take had some time to yeah. watch it. Yeah, so, like, your girlfriend's involved in this, and you don't even know what the fuck it's about or what's going on? Come on. You, like, you probably should see the movie. Yeah, I like and then he's probably beefing with the co-star. Film. Yeah. Uh, the review bombed. Despite grossing the fifth highest Memorial Day open weekend ever, estimated over 120 million, Little Mermaid is being reviewed uh, bombed by people upset that Haley is Ariel because she's black. Okay, well, I mean, those are racist people. Um, yeah. Most of makeup. Did makeup you guys artists. see it? What? Did you guys see it? No, no, I didn't. Fuck see no. It. Fuck what no. Am I 12? I mean, what the hell? So it's this guy just made mermaid. a whole big deal about not I, seeing like the mermaid movie to go see this movie, and then you're like, "Fuck! Why did I watch this movie?" What am I? If Silvana was in the Little Mermaid, I would have seen the Little Mermaid probably a hundred times already. So a little different. <sighs> Melissa McCarthy's makeup artist. Oh yeah, her makeup looks insane. <laughs> okay, no one cares. All right, guys, quick commercial break. You can face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. So Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like the Takis Waves, Kettles, Hot Nuts, Takis Sticks, Takis Pops, and Takis Rolls. And for people who want the intensity without the spice, you got to try their Intense Nacho, the first non-spicy Takis flavor. So they're still insanely cheesy, but they're still super intense. So Takis snacks are perfect for any occasion. Road trips, gaming, watching TV, chilling, hanging out with friends, listening to this podcast. No matter what you're doing, having Takis snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense if you haven't tried. The new super insane cheesy super intense ones make sure to check it out there's a snack for everyone try talkies today and face the intensity let's get back to the show uh al pacino <laughs> expecting a child at 83 al pacino and uh his buddy de niro just yeah, they're just fathering them out julia pacino 33 anton pacino 22 olivia pacino 22 uh t- his girlfriend is 29 damn same age as his daughters that's i crazy. guess is it selfish right the kid's just not gonna have a dad yeah i mean that's that's what i was trying to say last week that is a way better way of saying what i was trying to say last week Dave. when i was like (laughs) he's gonna die and not be there for his kid that was a way nicer way to put but is it selfish if you leave him like tens of millions of dollars i mean money can't replace a father how much money not everybody has a father to begin with and some people have no money and no father net worth 120 million is what google says He's going to be worth more than that. Yeah, Yeah, come on. Al Pacino. Selena Gomez yells at her security. Selena Gomez goes viral after yelling at the security team at Beyonce's concert, but it's unclear why. Some are saying Selena. I didn't even know Beyonce was in concert. Some are saying Selena's yelling at the security team for being too aggressive with fans, while others are saying she was upset with the security team for not knowing where to go. Let's see the video. Can we read her That's mouth? What was she saying? Yeah. That was like a terrible video. Terrible. Another video has surfaced. <laughs> of Selena? 
I don't know. Says enough. Like in the last here. like thirty seconds, or was it? I literally have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, to, to, we're into yelling here. Tom Hanks <laughs> yells at a man on the red carpet. Oh, he's giving him the fist. It looked like a get out of here. Beat it, punk. It. There's no video of that one. Okay, oh, great what? story. I, awesome. uh, it looks like these next couple pages didn't print for me properly. So we have Khan's looks. I have a blank page for those at home. Oh, boy. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just if you wanted to talk about any of the looks that are on there. But I, can I don't know. It. Well, I can't. I mean, I'll I can't see up. them. I'm pull it up. See so the next few? Yeah. It look. Yeah. So, like, page yep. eight is, like, empty? Oh. Yeah. Looks like the rest of the way I have empty. Occasionally, it one prints. I'm going to reprint them real quick. All right. So, what should we do in the meantime? Just, like, I'll sit here. Rock, paper, scissors? You think there'd be a delay, though? No. I mean, we can. There's, how important are the pictures? Well, is Obviously, the, the text that, gone, too? The, no, the text is all here. Oh. oh, wait. You mean for, like, the tweets? Some are here, some aren't. I guess good. I could, like, look at it on the computer if it's scrolling down. They're printing right now. Josh, I watched half of the movie. I'm almost done. Hell yeah. What did you think? It's great, but I fell asleep because my flight was at four in the morning. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm finished. Did you see the night. part? You see the part where he saves his sister? I think so. Like he's when he's like he he has like his little like wooden oh, yes, stick yes, and yes. he reaches across and grab and throws it and then he starts falling through. That's what you want to do, right? That's my part. Like that's the talk I've been part. Uh, the, the part you've been talking about. I've been talking about. There we go. Um, that I want to have like the the trailer like start at, okay. and then it's like flash cuts from there to other. Okay, things, I get it. Gotcha. You know, yeah. Do those ones work, Dave. Yeah, they work. Yeah, I think we have the same printer, DP. DP, let's go. All right, back in the game here. All right, All we're right. back. He just we're didn't back. care. Well, <sighs> nope. No, I didn't get. I didn't get the one. I, the one that we needed. Well. Let we, is there anything worth talking? We just skip. Things. It's just yeah. it's just their dresses. All right. Okay, so uh, the Bama Rush doc, which I think everybody's looking forward to. I haven't seen it. Everyone uniformly saying it was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, they said the trailer was better than the show. Yeah. They said Did that anyone, the you... um they said that the director just made it all about them, like it wasn't even truly about the like Rush. Yeah. Wait, it was about the director. Yeah. What? Like she like made it about herself. Yeah, I, I, it's gotten such bad reviews. I haven't heard one good person be like, oh, it's interesting and worth watching. So it's just a total flop. Um, I feel like they had something they could have done really cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, everyone's right? been actual, waiting for that. Yeah, it, see, it was such a catfish with the trailer. It seemed like it was going to be so good. Um, Bryce Dallas, how, do we know who this is? Bryce Dallas Howard advice? Ne Nepo baby Bryce Dallas Howard is under fire. Do, who is that? Ron Howard's daughter. The director. Yeah. Okay. She's under fire. Do you guys know who Ron Howard is? No. I think very I know famous him. director. Like I think he did what? White did he do White Man Can't Jump? The original? I think so. Do you guys see the new one? No. No. Heard it was did very you? bad. Yeah, I've heard bad reviews. Your boy's in that. I know. Seems like he was kind of an asshole on the red carpet though. I may not be a Jack Harlow stand anymore. Really? Mm. Yeah. Why? What did he do? He was just like being rude to the people asking questions. They were like, so you're excited? He's like, yeah, it's just like been so long. I've already seen it. Like, it's not that, it's not that interesting. It's not that hard. I'm a rapper. <laughs> it was crazy. Interesting. Maybe fame getting into his head. Nepo baby Bryce Dallas Howard is under fired for saying she wanted to begin giving advice to aspiring actors on how to make it to Hollywood because how nervous she was to make it in Hollywood even after going formal training at art school. Okay. Uh, yes, it is probably tough to take her seriously when her dad i mean i i just her dad i also think was in happy days her dad was yeah. an actor i believe in happy days and he has a too. and he has a million names on the movies i American mean he has graffiti big, beautiful mind rush oh, apollo 13 oh, I know who he all is. the da vinci movies yeah so 
tough to give advice when you're that. Ooh, D- Anna Delvey releasing music. Now, Anna Delvey, of course, what? is inventing Anna, New York socialite and con artist. Great sentence. I feel like that goes hand in hand for 90% of New York socialites. <laughs> Anna Delvey, who is on house arrest, just... <laughs> She's on house arrest just now. Says she's coming out with a new weekly podcast so people can get to know the real her on top of her debut single, which will be written and produced by the guy who did the theme song for Pawn Stars. Sounds what? like an amazing collab. This is insane. I wonder what kind of music she'll be singing. Pop? Who knows? Rap? Who knows? Um, I think she'll be like Ice Spice. Ooh, oh, the fucking Ice Spice song was so bad. Horrible. It was I told horrible. You so, Dave, told you so. Because so you can't put her on talking, a Taylor Swift. We're obviously fucking. talking about Taylor Swift, and I'm sure we're going to get to it. I I went to my first Taylor Swift concert. Um, she came out at midnight with Ice Spice collabing on Karma, and people were going bananas for it. And I, being the Swifty I am, was like, uh oh, it's almost like they heard me talking. And they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna turn Dave into an Ice Spice <laughs> fan. It, it, it just didn't fit. It, it, it doesn't fit. Yeah, it's a hundred times better without her. And then the concert I was at. Shout out to all my uh, MetLife Night One fans. We were Mother likes us most. We were the winners. They brought Ice Spice out to perform, and now she looks fucking cool because of her hair. She's sick. And yeah. But it it just does not work. It's like at two all. songs that just should never. They're like opposite Correct. ends. Just doesn't work. I was very yeah. sad, but I still love Ice Spice. Yeah. The the Lana Del Rey. Oh bang, bang! That made that song awesome. Yeah, so good. Uh, Midnight Rain. Lana yeah, Del Rey's Rain. back. No snow, snow on the snow beach. on the beach. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, childhood best friends take different paths. Okay. A guy named Richard Yu is going viral online after saying he met up with a childhood best friend for the first time in two years. In those two years, his friend is making 3K per month, which is 300K per month because he didn't take the typical nine to five path, though they have the same backgrounds. Who the fuck cares? This is just a friend flexing on a friend saying, like, I'm more successful than you. Yeah. Yeah. Richard it's terrible. Yu sounds like a dick. Yeah. What the hell, yeah. Richard? I could say that when I started What the Barcelona, fuck, like, Richard? I'm like, hey, which one of you guys want to do this with me and no one did it i don't walk around being like Told you, you guys so. are still working yeah sometimes i say it uh blake <laughs> why you did kind of just say it like <laughs> indirectly you did kind of just say it. all the all of them if they listen to this they're like oh wow oh hey well he he asked them to start with him he does a fact blake lively's it ends with us outfits you have no idea how fucking upset i am about this this was a book. It was like super viral, the best book ever, and they made it into a movie. But the main character in the movie is 23 years old, and they put Blake Lively as the main character who is gorgeous, but she's not 23, and she's dressing like a fucking homeless person. But is that how the person dresses in the book? No, she like owns a flower shop, and she's all cutesy, and like this is just not what Lily would be no, wearing. I'm, I'm looking. They're, they're the trying photo. to say this is what someone in Hoboken wears. It's the book is based in Boston. Why well, say since filming began filming for a movie in, in Hoboken? They're filming it in Hoboken. But yeah, the, nobody dresses like this in. No. May, no. No. And but just, are you guys like, telling you guys me that she doesn't book, look young wasn't. enough? She kind of looks young enough to me. Look at that middle photo. If go, you look, go at, look the at the pictures, that photo. If, it's no way. What you How old about? is Blake Lively? I don't know, like forty. Um, yeah, she's got to be. She's married. No to way. Is Blake Lively 40. 35. 35. 35. That is weird. And they that. made the uh, the other dude like way too old. It was just people are so excited for it and it looks like it's going to flop. I haven't read the book, so if you uh, read the book you'd be as upset as I am. I'm sure I, I would be maybe more Bree. upset. Nice, but thanks, I guys. I just got to say I think she can pull off a recent graduate from college. When I'm looking at this middle photo, I'm looking at her face. I I go, "Oh yeah, you could have just graduated from college." I'll send you some other pictures after this. Okay. Okay. Island Boys on Epstein Island. The internet has run wild with theory what? the Island Boys were a victim on Jeffrey Epstein's island as children and the origin of the name Island Boys. <laughs> what? It's not funny, but that's a funny Yeah, I was going to say, did you story. just laugh? Did you just laugh at that? You don't, you don't think there's an element of like where they came up with the name Island Boys <laughs> because they were on Epstein's <laughs> island? Like, I don't believe this at all. Well, it's just like, you know, it's like if it was true, that means, you know, they probably had a tough childhood. 
A hundred percent. I mean, that, is that really them childhood. as kids? No way. I don't think so. Who started this? What? <laughs> that picture is what started it. Oh, that's well, funny. no, it can't. I'm a, I'm a crack the code. AI, though. Uh, yeah, crack and the, the two kids have denied it. I just think it's kind of like people don't like the island boys or whatever. So. Yeah. And like one has blonde hair and one has black hair. And then if you look, they both have brown hair. They just dyed, dyed it, it yeah. blonde. So crack the oh. code. Detective Josh. Good job, Jack. Little Terrio lost weight. Let's Remember go. him? Oh. He's lost yeah, over yeah. 150 pounds. Good for Little Terrio. Wow, he looks yeah, big great. Big ups. Big ups. Good for him. Uh, UK. Keep grinding. Mizzy takes over UK TikTok with pranks and gets banned. I think I saw this story. So this guy, Mizzy, would do all these like prank things. I, is this the guy who got arrested because he doesn't get people's permission to post the TikToks? Yeah, and he's also doing like wild shit, like taking people's he's, dogs yeah. and stuff, and like t- like actually take them forever. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I assume not forever. I don't think. Video, but he doesn't tell. Well, well yeah. Then uh, jail, yeah. straight to jail. Yeah, I would potentially like put him in guy. with the worst type of criminals and I'm let him guy. get mutilated. That's how I <gasps> like, feel. Yeah, about there's that. a video this of him one. stealing a dog. Hello. Hi. Like, this nice is dog. so evil. It's an Hi. old lady. You a nice dog. She's lovely. She's she's. <gasps> So that oh. old lady? Boom gang, whole lot of gang. We are tired. We are tired. Yeah, this is the worst part of the internet. That guy should be dead. That's and I crazy. kill his family too. <laughs> mm. I think mm. he would, like, he's going to get beat up by the wrong person. Beat up, he should get killed. <laughs> Murdered. You can't, you can't steal someone's dog. Like and not that. even and be like, oh, lady. here, I was just j- joking like five seconds later. No, you should be, if like someone had a gun, they should shoot him in the back of the head. That's what I would do. Even if, even if it was five seconds later, it's still just like. You just stole my dog uh, and ran away with it. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. And it's like, it, it's not even like against someone that could like have a chance yeah, was that little to like lady. chase you down or Horrible. like, you know, go up against you. Fuck this guy. Y- you're talking about like a 90 year old elderly woman, like. She and she's like, like being so, so nice. Yeah, she's like, oh, like, oh, yeah, my thank you. My dog's so kind. Fuck like, this blah, blah, guy. Blah. I don't even want to hear what his excuse or anything. I hope he dies. <laughs> Asshole. Damn. Yeah. You like steal someone's dog. Family, eh? I don't care if it's real or fake. That's like the worst thing you can possibly do. Like, well, how in that? I don't get how like, people even want to watch that too. Yeah, or like, it's like fake kidnapping a, a child. Like, how yeah, and then is being that like, rem- here. oh, here's your here's your child back. I just get like, what are you? Just doing? gave you a heart attack. There's no way the comments gotta be like, ha, good one, good one, dog. Yeah, yeah there's no way. Good one, man. Good one. I love this prank. Well, all I'm gonna share this with my friends. Crazy too, if it is. There's no way. I mean, Dave, talking to your point of like you would shoot him. He's gonna get shot. He's just. Walking into people's homes. That's one of his pranks. It, that, I, I, I don't carry He's a gun. I'm walking saying, yeah, but into there's houses? plenty of people. If somebody just stole someone's dog and they thought it was real, like your all bets are off at what happens. At that yeah, point. yeah, John Wick. It's it's yeah. John Wick. We're making a movie, dog, and I'm chasing you down, and I'm I'll kill you. <laughs> No one's but yeah, you can't you can't enter people's homes. That's no. he's gonna get shot. Like his prank is just even, videos. But you never mind the home entering a home. He just did to that little lady. Well, this isn't even re- prank. You like, can't do that that in real life. People you, take dogs in real life and don't get them back. That's yeah. true. People do do that. You can't do that. Lady Gaga. Yep. Yeah. Uh, BFF's corner presented by Hey Dude. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Hey Dude makes one of the most comfortable shoes. They're so comfortable, they make your feet and your day better. So all of their products are unbelievably lightweight, astonishingly easy to put on. They slip right on, no tying necessary. A ton of variety, whether it's prints, colors, materials, or styles, there's a look for everyone. Hey Dude shoes have a range of products from tied and tried and true styles, the Wendy and Wally, to a new line of casual sneakers. We have Sirocco, Cody, Conway, and Sunapee. So Sirocco is the all-new sneaker from Hey Dude, the same amazing Hey Dude comfort in a more athletic look that provides a cushiony and grippy step. So also, the new Hey Dude collection, Sun and P, Cody, and Conway. Brand new styles. Same legendary cushy comfort. Uh, these shoes are lightweight. They're ideal for travel. I bring them everywhere I go with me. While I'm traveling, they slip right on, right off. So lightweight. You can put them in your bag. It's not going to weigh you down in your carry-on. So make sure to check out more styles at HeyDude.com. You can shop now at HeyDude.com. Make sure to check it out. All right. Uh, so I, I did. I went to the Taylor Swift concert. We just talked about the Ice, uh, the ice Spice part of it. I came out with my top 24 songs. They, I have, I do have to rearrange them. They've changed after singing the show live. Certain songs hit me different ways. Like mm. Enchanted was my favorite song live. Still love Betty. Overall, uh, it was an awesome experience. 
the Taylor Swift fans were awesome. The Swifties were awesome. I actually did a Taylor Swift podcast yesterday, like a fan podcast. Really? Yeah. Wow. So That's it, crazy. It, it, you didn't go, Bree, did you? No, I didn't have tickets. Oh, it's so it, – it, it was – we're trying to talk about it. How many – because it, it, I generally don't like – stadium concerts yeah. i think they're too big like i'd much rather see a intimate performance but how many this was this worked because the entire crowd was so into it like every single person who every single lyric went bananas on every song every outfit change every everything and i said i think like a performer who can do that comes around i don't know once the five once to seven times a lifetime like you have somebody yeah. who can who can do that? I don't know who else. And she's doing it three hours. Like, name one person. Three and a half. That's fucking crazy. And doing it multiple times. Same energy, same steam. Like Three days can, in a row, like every weekend. Like, can Beyonce fill a stadium, like, as many times and have the same energy for every song? Like, who else can do that? Uh, Taylor Swift, I think, is the only one that can do that right now. Maybe. It was awesome. So you had the time um, of your life. I had a great time. I had a great time. My outfit. Swifties loved it. And I'm doing this. Uh, so I got this jacket. Shout out Bedazzle Daddy, I think was the name of it. But I looked for, I knew I had to get a, a, a like something custom fit going. Yeah. yeah. So this was a one on one. I bought it. It was relatively cheap for how nice it was. And then, it is it is really cool. It looks like they painted the back. Is that like they, they painted it? Yeah. Wow. That's it's like cool. handmade. Yeah, it's handmade. And then I said, you know, I'm not probably going to be wearing this around town every day. So I gave it away to a girl who was going the next night. Oh, with the only cool. promise being you then have to give it, keep passing it on. So it keeps getting to go to concerts. So it's no longer in my oh. possession. I'm not sure who has it at this well, that's point. That's pretty cool, Dave. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. If Do you think some – I think the Swifties would keep it going. The, the Swifties are pretty yeah. loyal. They'll mail yeah. it to someone. They will yeah. Get, yeah. They'll get out there. It'll, so. it'll continue its, its, uh, its own tour. Correct. Yeah. And then yeah. we, I wore this as the undershirt. We actually sell them. Um, I thought this was a good one. All you're ever going to be is mean and a liar, pathetic. She actually doesn't play mean, which oh, is really? probably the number one song that's surprising she doesn't play. Yeah. Yeah, because that's a jam. Um, and then I have Scooter Braun, Kanye, Kim Kardashian, all Taylor's exes. <laughs> yeah, that's, so. that's a great shirt. And uh, people, obviously, the haters, of which there are always many. They're like, oh, Dave, you changed. You did this. I posted this picture uh, back in the day. I went to see Adam Lambert, and I just had a Lord Lambert. Like, I wrote it, magic marker on my t-shirt. I love Adam Lambert, too. The mm. Muffin Fr Man. Friendship bracelets. I was in on everything. Um, what else? Really? Well, like, you were a night. full You were a full blown Swifty at this concert, Dave. I just, what I don't get is people were making me custom that's friendship what i was just gonna say how they know they were finding gonna see me. you yeah i have no idea i can't believe that yeah the it's dp loves period. ts and green i had a fuck adele i had a michigan go blue one fuck Crazy. john mayer yeah 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 swifties are the best um other celebrities at met life Bradley Cooper, Paul Rudd, Miles Teller, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Bradmore, Uma Thurman, Cara Delevingne, Gordon Ramsay, Mike Myers, Ben Stiller, Shawn Mendes, Camilo Cabello, and more. Now, these are all, way, all I would say, A-list celebs. But I always wonder, like Aaron Rodgers was in this special tent. You see him. Yeah. He yeah. went two nights. I was actually texted with him before when I heard he was a Swifty. How do – I feel like, Josh, you get in on, on this maybe a little bit. How do celebrities get – in? Do, like, do their people talk to people? Like, would uh, I have been like, hey, I'm coming to Taylor Swift. How do you get there? Or And they're like, um, answer, you're not nearly big enough. Like, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say it's probably just a, it's just like a PR reach out thing. Or it's like, maybe they know, like, someone on Taylor's camp and then yeah. are able to get a hookup through that. Like, but it's definitely like a celebrity tent type situation yeah, there's one it's almost like every it's like what we saw shows. it's like what yeah it's like what we saw at the sabrina carpenter uh concert with the tiktokers except a -list. not with tiktokers I, with, with the exception of the celtics i uniformly i go to every event i go to the same exact way as every other schmo i walk in the front like the we went in the merch tent i forgot my fucking merch there which hurts um oh, damn but the line to the merch was like 
to Nebraska. And luckily, a cop was like, hey, Dave, you can just cut the line and go in. So that helped. But we walk in like every other person. Well, well um, you should text. You should ask Aaron Rodgers. How he does it. Yeah. yeah I don't want him to big time me like that. <laughs> uh, 20, mi- 20 million versus Taylor Swift. On the Yak, Kelly Keegs and the Yak guys had an argument about how much it would take you to get them to say no to a Taylor Swift. And Kelly Keegs denied 20 million. Say no, no to what? Just going? 20 million or go to, to not go the Taylor Swift concert. Are you crazy? Can I take the 20 million and then just like buy out a concert? No, no, you that's part of it. It's not like you can you never have one wish. I want more wishes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I that's true I, love. I would that's I would key. Take I would obviously 20 million. 20 million. It wasn't yeah. just her though. There was other people that went to the concert in the office that came by and said they wouldn't take the money. Okay. Well, they're delusional. That's insane. Yeah, that's it crazy. That's crazy. Awesome. Come on. It really 20 was. 20 million awesome, though? 20, yeah, I was going to say no. that exact same syndicate of Nothing words. Nothing's that awesome. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Um, the Vanderpump Rules drama, that's this is going still everywhere. Going I watched on? this last night, and I haven't even watched the show, and it was intense. Oh, it was on again, part two last night? Part two's on tonight. I watched oh, part I one last watched night. I watched part night. one last night for the first time. No, what? Part one was... Oh, you just watched I it. I just watched up. it. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you meant it aired, so I was confused. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch the show either. I've seen it all through the headlines. Uh, I mean, this guy looks like an absolute piece of shit. So I, you can't judge a book by his covers, but, I mean, this guy looks like a piece of shit. I, he's just such a loser, too. Like, I don't get how these hot girls, like, like him. Like, he's got the personality of a toilet. I know nothing about his personality. Mm. I'm just saying he looks like he'd be cast for a villain. You know that he sings. He likes goes on stage and like goes around and sings cover. Yeah, songs. he's got like a cover band, right? Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Hard. Oh, yeah, not hard. Not hard. girls like him. I, I mean, he's uh, he's a good looking guy. He's just is he's just evil looking. Yeah, he does. He does look like a villain. I guess the mustache probably. Um, we already talked about the Celtics. Yeah, the, the, the D, Bricks, uh, Dixie, Bree, and Grace watched the NBA Finals together. Yeah. I don't know. So I, I still don't understand. Dixie was planning on gloating to me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even Wait, know. Wait, how did you guys all, like, meet up? I was driving a golf cart, and then, well, like, we just left dinner, and I see Dixie, and I'm like, what the hell? We, like, spotted each other, and then we just met up and hung out for the rest of the time. But like where? Just like out in public in you just drive Del Rey? Golf cart down the streets of Del Rey? Yeah, yeah like that's you, what they that's, do that's down like there. The it's like the craziest beach town. thing I've ever heard. Everyone's driving golf carts. So she was on a golf cart and I was on a golf cart. And we had both just left dinner and we were like, what the fuck? Why yeah. are people in Del Rey? It's a nice little beach town. It's like not as crazy as Miami and it's not as gross as Fort Lauderdale. But like right now, why are people in Del Rey? It was Rey? Memorial Day Is weekend. Is there like a thing going on? Oh, okay. And her friend lives there. And we so went. Like we a, went what to are visit the odds? Caleb. Yeah. It's just like what are the odds, kind of thing. Got it. Okay. Uh, Bree went missing on the beach after the Celtics versus Heat game. Bree posted TikToks and Grace and her friend thought Bree went missing when she was swimming in the ocean for three hours. It w- it wasn't that long, but it. And they it was wait, is this real? They sent the police in a helicopter. <laughs> Want me to explain the story? I got a call. Yes, please. Like a manic okay. call from Grace at midnight. And so Grace was like. <laughs> She was drunk and being, <laughs> to be fair, dramatic. But I'm glad that she called because, like, better safe than sorry. But we all went in the water, and then they got out. And we just, like, you know when you walk out into the water and it never gets deeper? Like, it's just, like. Yeah. So we were just, like, oh, we could just keep going, and it's fine. And then we were just floating looking at the stars. But the the fucking current, like, took us down the beach. And then yep. we looked back, and we're, like, this was probably an hour later. We're, like, fuck, they're the worst. They just left us here. But they thought we floated out. And then Who's they, I'm confused. Grace, um, the other girls we were with, and then me. So who were you with? I was with Dixie. And I feel like you're leaving out like one of the most like. So uh, so they thought you and Dixie died. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, but then I feel like you're leaving out a crucial part here. <laughs> what? Y'all were naked. We were skinny dipping everyone, and that's why we couldn't get out of the water because they had our clothes. Yeah, so then we were stuck, and then like the night. there was a helicopter. Like the night in Del Rey. Yeah, Del Rey, man, it was crazy. But we were fine, and it was um, Grace was wait, terrified. Wait, 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 what do you mean a helicopter? I don't know. I, maybe they have they it on spotlight. standby. <laughs> yeah, there was, and we were like, we're literally sitting so, in the water. Like, like Grace called nine one one. They were patrolling the the beach already, and then we're like literally sitting in the water. And we're like, what the fuck are they looking for? And then there's like all these ATVs pulling up, and they were like, are you Brianna and Dixie? And we're like. Yeah, 
Were you, while you were naked? Yeah, that's why we were like, dude, turn the lights off. What the hell? They were talking to you? Yeah, because we were waiting for our friends to come back to give on us our clothes. On a megaphone clothes. or like eye to eye? On the on the um four wheelers. So eye to eye. So, so eye to like eye. This would have been like a radar online story. Yeah, there was also a drone out. With, like, like TMZ, like Dixie and Brianna wandering aimlessly naked down the beaches of Del Rey. <laughs> Right? Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. How did how is this not like something more <laughs> Well, because I never I didn't wasn't gonna say it was Dixie. Well you did well, now. You don't think the people in the RVs, the new Dixie? Uh, I don't know. They were just like I know this. I it was better or worse. Ninety seven percent of cops who see me know who I am. Yeah. Maybe that's just my But guess. I think cops are in your audience. Yeah, true. Um what is it what is the Brie went missing TikTok? It's that just was me just explaining it. Missing. Oh, okay. I feel like uh, this was better than going to watch the TikTok anyways. Yeah. yeah. Brie on Theo Vaughn's podcast. Brie was invited on Theo Vaughn's podcast because of Dave and that Dave had an eye for talent. What? That doesn't make much sense. Theo also said he wants to come <laughs> back on BFFs. He thought Brie was cold the first time he's on. There's a lot of Brio shipping in the comments. Yeah, that's gotta you, that's gotta stop. Well, you probably do it to yourself. I mean, what I've the even hell? I just Bri went on the podcast. I've even heard like Brio comments, and I'm not even like in the loop. Well, like, every, I'm every isolated here. Every female guest he has on his podcast, everyone's like ship ships him and any female he has on. Oh, that must suck. <laughs> I think at some point <laughs> you said you liked him did you not that's a while ago it was yeah, a while that, ago okay dave dave i think you're right that probably plays into it josh well yeah it does yeah that fucked me over yeah, and then i never bit. thought i would probably go on his bit. podcast and then i did and then everyone thought we were in love but it was just a podcast right josh looking i don't know what he's looking like here <laughs> josh's emo girl tiktok yeah it was for it was for like uh I'm filming like a sketch comedy show right now. So I'm playing all these different characters in every sketch. And I was like kind of making fun of this character. I had the orange hair. Felt like it was a very emo girl thing. <laughs> Should try to come out for pop punk. That's oh, like yeah, he do, does right? look just like pop punk. Yeah, that's our house band. It's uh, kind of like an emo-type band. They're actually surprisingly not bad. Uh, okay, sick. Josh and Gabby updates after Josh said last week, love is race. Seems may have won after hanging out with Gabby and Maury all weekend. All right, good for you, Josh. Yeah, can, right, thank congrats, you, Congrats, man. Thanks, good to thanks, things, thanks. things moving along. Yeah, yeah. Look at that smile uh, on his face. He's is that it? What smile? Uh, am I out of pages or is that it? Nope, it's I, it. I think I that's think, it. That's it? All right, that's, that's it. Uh, BFF. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys. See you guys. Bye. See you. Fell in love with an emo girl.